Hey, what's poppin' boys? It's your boy, Andros. Anyways, today I had to defeat my inner demons. I woke up today feeling a little empty inside, a little sad, you know? But, um, I decided to just get the fuck up and <laughs> go for my morning walk slash jog, man. Uh, it was rough. I did not want to get up. I was sitting in bed for like five to ten minutes, just like staring at the ceiling. Not doing anything like, oh, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get out of bed. I said, fuck that, man. I just got up, put my walking shoes on, and I started walking. Uh, I walked a total of about, let me check my app, another 17,000 steps today. Walked about 11 miles and burned about 3,000 calories. So that's pretty fucking good for me. Um, yeah, after my walk, which was about two hours long, I came back home. My feet hurt. I was sweating. I was dehydrated because I didn't bring a water, a water bottle with me, and I just did not want to do anything else. I wanted to crash and go back to sleep, but I knew that I had to finish up a final exam, <clears throat> and this final exam consisted of uh, some essay questions, 500 words each, and I had to, or there was three of them, but I only had to answer two, so it was only like a thousand words. It wasn't that hard. It was just um, tedious, I, I guess you'd say. So I decided to hop on that. I started writing. I had some pretty good flow going in. Uh, so after I finished the first half, I felt tired and I caught myself lacking. I was scrolling through Instagram, YouTube, and it was like about 30 minutes of that. And at the end, I asked myself, Andre, what are you doing, bro? You got to finish this exam. You got to get it over with. So then you can scroll through Instagram later tonight. You know, so I, uh, I pulled myself together, turned off my phone, went to go charge it in my, in my room and then buckled down and got to it, man. And I finished, finished strong. So after that, um, I felt like I had just used the last two brain cells <laughs> to write a thousand words. So by then I had like 30 minutes of free time to myself. So I was just relaxed and ate some lunch, um, which was just two burgers or two burger patties and eggs, no bread. I'm doing low carb right now until I reach my target weight. And then I'm going to bulk later, like probably like September, October. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, after lunch, my dad came home from work and my brother came home from school. So they were like, Hey, Andre, let's go work out, man. And I knew it was leg day today. And I was, I was still sore from the last leg day. And I had just come, come back from about an 11 mile walk and my feet were hurting. I was like, fuck, man, I do not want to do deadlifts right now. But, um, I told my little lizard brain, shut the fuck up, man. Let's go do this. I'm putting points in to become the, the best me possible in the future, dude. Like if y'all ever played persona five, it felt like I was putting stats into my little, uh, like my little star, you know, trying to increase points in strength or increase points in, uh, intelligence by studying, you know, <laughs> gamer nerd shit, whatever. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, yeah, since I'm recovering from a broken femur, I was only able to get a one rep max of about 275 pounds, which is fine for now. I know I'm going to get stronger and my target weight for the end of the year, it, today being May 2nd, is 360 pounds, uh, one rep max, which was my old PR when I was still like weightlifting, which is maybe about two, three years ago. Anyways, uh, after I got my one rep max, I took off about 60% of the weight, but probably less than that, honestly. And I did five sets of eight reps of about 205 pounds deadlifts. It was hard, man. <laughs> it was more cardio than, uh, than weightlifting really. So after that, we decided to sunbathe for a while, uh, outside while the sauna was heating up and sunbathing's fun, man. I like to, I like just putting on my headphones, listening to some music and just basking in the sun. It feels great. I also love listening to like birds chirping outside sometimes. Anyways, um, as time was going by, I knew the sauna was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And my, my body was telling me, man, you just walked 17,000 steps. You just finished writing a thousand words. You just, uh, pushed yourself on deadlifts. You do not have to go inside of that sauna. And I was sucking myself out saying, dude, I do not want to go in the sauna. I don't want to go in the sauna. And by the time it reached about 160 degrees Fahrenheit, I said, fuck this. I'm just getting in. And so me and my dad hopped in for about 20 minutes and it was awesome, man. We we're just relaxing and talking, shooting the shit. 
and it was some quality time I got to spend with my father, and I'm super grateful for that. Honestly, thinking back, I feel like I could have gone a couple more minutes. Um, I could have pushed myself harder inside of the sauna, but if I did, I feel like I wouldn't have had time to record this video, which is fine. These, this is also a priority for me. Anyways, <clears throat> after the sauna, right, let me check my notes. All right, yeah, so it felt like shit in the moment, doing all these things I did not want to do. Um, my mind kept telling me, man, don't do this. This is going to hurt. This is going to suck. You're going to be sweaty. And I had to tell myself to stop being a little bitch, dude. Just fucking get it done. I had to defeat those inner demons that was inside of me telling me that I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. It's all about mindset, bros. You got to tell yourself you can. Yes, I can. And I'm proud of myself, man. Today, I thought when I woke up, I wasn't going to do anything. But I got up buckled up and I did it I'm proud of myself for pushing pushing myself to the limit today and each day I'm gonna try to push that limit just a one percent further each day and hopefully I'll become the best person I can in the near future so yeah that's I realize that that's delayed gratification it's um, doing things that you don't want to do in the present so your future self can enjoy the benefits later and that has changed my perspective on a lot of things, honestly. Um, earlier, like a couple of months ago, if uh, my, my dad or my brother said, Hey, Andre, let's go uh, do some deadlifts. I would have said, fuck no. I want to stay in my room and watch Hunter Hunter or watch One Piece or something. But uh, not anymore, man. I'm just going to say yes and get it fucking done. All right, remember, boys, to always do the important things first so your future self can enjoy the benefits. Andros out.